and welcome to today's edition of Cafe Diversity. I'll be your host, Sarah Nada. As always, today's show is brought to you by WCG TV and Westman Immigrant Services. Today I have two very special guests with me. If you could uh, each take a turn to introduce yourselves and why you're here. Go ahead, Lindsay. <laughs> I'm Lindsay Hargraves, the City's Environmental Initiatives Coordinator. Okay. I'm Chris Heidi with CAA Manitoba and member of the Brandon Environment Committee. Okay, so you two are here to talk about the Environment Committee and something special that's coming up next week, I believe. Yeah? You are correct. Okay, and we're going to talk about Earth Day today. Yes. So, who would like to give me some history on what is Earth Day and why is it important? I'll do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Earth Day was started in 1970 down in the States. Oh, okay. Uh, and then it kind of has grown worldwide. And Brandon, in the past 10 years, we've had an outdoor celebration the first Sunday oh, okay. um, following Earth Day, which is April 22nd, but due because April's been a bit of a iffy <laughs> uh, weather month. You haven't had good luck with no. weather. So. The last few years, we've been snowed out or rained out, so we decided we would do something totally different this year. Okay. And we'll have more of an outdoor celebration uh, you know, on May 30th. Okay. So for this year, what are we doing then, if we're not being outside? Is there something else that's happening then? This year we are doing uh, Earth Day Spirit Week. Okay. Kind of a soft campaign that encouraging everybody to take part in. Okay. Trying to raise some awareness around the week of Earth Day and just some, some different, you know, small things that people can do to contribute because what we really want people to realize is, you know, we don't want these sorts of things to feel like work. It doesn't have to be a big, <laughs> huge endeavor where it's a lot of time or effort or right. expense. There's little things that people can do every single day that all make some small difference. And then cumulatively, of course, it makes a huge difference. Okay. So what's the importance of Earth Day? Like, what does it signify? It brings awareness on environmental issues. Environmental issues. Okay. So what are some things that people do to bring awareness to that? Well, we've got the Bread Environment Committee, which mm -hmm. we've got a fairly healthy committee of 15 or 20 or so regular members oh, wow, uh, okay. from, from different backgrounds. Um, some are from business, some are from government, some are just citizens at large who are just there because uh, of their own personal interest. Okay. And so we meet once a month and uh, our goal is to identify uh, different issues around the city that either aren't being done that we think could be done or something's maybe being done that we think might could be done differently or done better okay. um, but all in the name of raising awareness of environmental issues and trying to get as many people as possible into good earth-friendly habits okay so can you give me some examples of earth-friendly habits because for some people might just be like well you know i water my lawn that's earth-friendly but is there anything else, any other examples you can give us? Well, we've got a couple of things next week that are, again, small things mm -hmm. that, uh, that people can do. And um, our, our goal is to try and promote whether it's businesses or schools or uh, just people at home to do. Um, it can be something as small as turning some lights off. Okay. Um, you know, uh, we should all be doing that on a regular basis anyways. Right. <laughs> um, I grew up in a household where my dad was very serious on not so much for earth matters perhaps, but more <laughs> from the dollars and cents side of things. Right. Well, making sure that, you know, if you're not in a room, then why are the lights on? Okay. You know, and, and it used to be more of a cost thing for people. Let's not spend money needlessly on hydro. Um, but now it's more of an issue saying, you know, well, you're wasting power. Okay. And, and certainly, you know, if you're not in that room, turn the lights off. Okay. There's one small thing right. that people can do. Okay, it's pretty good. I enjoy having the lights off in my house, although I'm more of a dollar and cents kind of person <laughs> as to why I do that. It's certainly part of it. <laughs> so you were saying the main objectives of this are to bring awareness to earth-friendly activities. Let's not ruin the planet. We've done enough already. Let's make it better for various reasons. Um, is the whole city going to be involved in this? Are there any special like talks or anything like that happening or? It's Activities. a soft campaign that anybody can take part in. Okay. Uh, Monday is Make a Difference Monday. So okay. you can pick up litter, you can turn off your lights, do a better effort to use reusable bags. Okay. Tuesday is Trivia Tuesday, so we'll have different trivia questions on our Twitter account and cool. Facebook and our website, okay. brandonenvironment.ca. And Wednesday, it's Wear Green Wednesday, because that's the actual Earth Day. Oh, okay. And Thursday is Thrifty Thursday, so if you have cleaning out your house or garden shed and you find some items that could be reused, upcycled, then you can take them to a, a local thrift store. Okay. And then Friday is Fair Trade Friday, so encouraging to buy Fair Trade products. Oh, 
Okay. And the Thrifty Thursday especially, there, there's so much stuff. Um, we were talking before we started filming here mm -hmm. about the landfill. Right. And uh, for anybody who's never been out to the landfill, uh, I know it may sound odd to some people, but it really is a, it's a must-see, must-do type thing. Uh, it's really neat to see just the way it all functions out there. Uh, and also a good eye-opener for people to, to drive or walk through the landfill and to see all these things that could have had another purpose, could have been used for something else. Um, too often our first instinct when we're done with something or when we think that there's no further use for something, garbage. Right. And there's so much that ends up in the landfill that could be used for so many other purposes. So it's a good eye opener for people to realize that they go, well, somebody could have used that and surely that could have been you know, handled differently. So right. um, Thrifty Thursdays is, is a really good day because it just encourages people to stop and think about that. You know, you're cleaning out the garage, you've got some old wood or some old building supplies in there. Again, your first instinct might be, well, just throw it out and get rid of it, then my garage is clean, I don't have to worry about it. But there's several places in Brandon that will take those materials. Okay. And they will then make them available for resale okay. um, at their different organizations. So. Okay. Yeah, no, that's really important. I had an argument with my husband earlier because we have leaves on our lawn and he just wanted to bag them and throw them away. And I said, no, we have a green bin. It's starting soon. Just wait. We'll put it in the green bin. Like, why am I going to put leaves in the landfill? Uh, exactly. It doesn't make sense to me. So I won and I'm very happy about that. But <laughs> it's, uh, that's good to know. I believe you were saying, uh, Lindsay, before there's something like 300 bikes or something like that as well that get thrown out on a regular yeah. basis. About each year is about 300 bicycles that get thrown out. Bicycles. And to me, that's just weird. Why would you throw out a bicycle if, if it's in working order, right? And like you're saying, our first instinct is, well, I don't like it anymore. I don't like that color. Maybe the tire's flat. I'll just throw it out. So. Well, yeah, and even if you're not the kind of person, like I'm not the handiest person in the world by yeah. any means, but <laughs> even if you can't do some of those small repairs yourself, it doesn't mean that somebody else can't or won't. And then that bike, for example, could be reused by someone else. So. Right. Yeah, no, exactly. So we are working on a recovery program for that. Okay, cool. I like that. Now, you said this is a soft campaign, so I'm assuming that means you're not like cramming it down people's throats and just sort of talking about it and trying to get the awareness out that this is what's happening. Are there any other organizations that are involved with the committee or with the City of Brandon to help promote this information? Um, we reached out to the Chamber of Commerce okay. to help get it out to the business community. Okay. Um, so hopefully uh, that will be done. Uh, Lindsay is going out to which school? I'm going out to Alexander School next Wednesday. Oh, okay. And doing Earth Day activities with them. Uh, we've also promoted the Earth Day Spirit Week to this Brandon School Division. Oh, okay, cool. And then the idea originally came from the city's internal green team. So within our the city's organization, we will be promoting it. Okay. And the school division is very important because um, the sooner you can get to young people and get them into good habits, mm -hmm. uh, then it just becomes a way of life for them. Yes. And then it's something, you know, it's, whether it's recycling or whatever it may be, they don't even think about it anymore. It's just they're so used to doing it that to them, there's no other way to do it. It's just the natural thing. Oh, I'm done with this pop can into the recycling, not the garbage, right? Absolutely. So you get the young people into good habits, helps us all down the road. Yes, so. it's very true. And I teach my children this. My ne son never loves. too young. No, never. never. <laughs> All right. So have there been campaigns like this in the past for promoting Earth Day? Like you said before that they used to do something outside on the Sunday before, and we're not doing that this year. We're not year, doing that this year. Weather's a bit dicey yes. here in, in lovely Brandon, Manitoba. You can only do that so many times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> we, just, we just found that, I mean, City Hall was a nice backup to mm -hmm. have it indoors. It's nice to have that option. Um, but it just seems silly to us as a committee to say Earth Day is inside. Instead yeah. of outdoors and the fresh air and a park-like setting, right? And uh, you know, as Lindsay has said before, uh, Mother Nature has won, mm -hmm. and uh, we, we've had to give in to her this time and just say, you know what? I mean, the end of May certainly is no guarantee in Manitoba for True. the weather. <laughs> However, our odds are dramatically better. Yeah end of May than mid to late April so it's true and the weather this week must have been teasing you because it's supposed to be like 23 degrees today and it was 20 yesterday well, Lindsay doesn't like to talk about oh, okay that. okay no. we won't talk about the weather it's and that's Murphy's nice. law things right I mean if we'd done it outside the weather would have been horrible exactly but because we're not doing it in April it's probably gonna be about 24 above and sunny that day who knows so. it could be negative five right and that might make you quickly. feel a little bit happier if it's actually negative five I'd rather be outside so it could be nice <laughs> exactly um, okay, so how can people get involved with this? Like you said, you have about, I think, 15 to 20 people who are already on the committee. Yep. If there's no other committee work that can be done, what else can people do to get involved with this? They can take part 
in it. So they can visit our website, okay. brandenvironment.ca, and learn about it that way. Okay. And if they're interested in being a committee member, we're an informal advisory group to the council, and anybody can join. Okay. We just ask that you come out 8.30 in the morning for the last Wednesday of every once month. month. Once, once a month. Once a month. month. To City is. Hall. 8.30 is not that early, though. It's not that it's bad. It's not that bad. It used to be 8. Oh, wow. <laughs> And we have no cap on the number of members. It's just okay. you know the more the merrier. And the thing, one of the really neat things, it's such a such a diverse group of people on there that you get a lot of really different opinions on things. Right. And we might be talking about a particular topic or issue, and you know there'd be three people sitting beside each other who have three different approaches to it, which is kind of neat because someone will say something and you'll go, I, I never thought of it that way. So right. to have that diversity on the committee is really really neat. So that's why new members, as Lindsay says, are always welcome. Okay. And cool. we will have a booth at the mall uh, next Wednesday from 5 to 8. On the, 20, on the 22nd. Okay. Yes, PM. <laughs> and the Shoppers Mall will also be doing Earth Day Kids activities as okay. well. Okay. Yeah. This is really interesting. This has definitely evolved a lot from what I remember for Earth Day, because when I was a child, oh, many moons ago, Earth Day was, okay, you turn off the lights for an hour. That's it. Yeah. That's what we did. So it's very exciting to see how it's, it's grown since then and there's all these other different things that you can do. And I do so enjoy getting emails from people that says, consider the environment before you print this email. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Every little bit helps, right? Well, if someone has ideas, if there's something that, that they don't feel is being addressed in the city or an idea that they have, um, by all means, they can come onto our website, come out to a meeting and share it with us or come to the mall on the 22nd. Okay. Uh, we have what's called an idea tree where it's just people oh. can come and jot down their feedback comments, suggestions, ideas, we stick it up there and then at the next committee meeting it gets brought forward for discussion. So new oh, ideas are cool. always welcome. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like the idea of it being a tree. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was a high school student that came up with that idea. Oh yeah? <laughs> it's definitely related, right? Absolutely. Good. Now are there, you've mentioned a little bit about May 30th, so what's going on then? We'll just talk about it a little bit because you guys are coming back closer to that day, but can you give us a little snippet of what's happening then? Certainly. On the 30th, uh, we've partnered up with the Global Market. Okay. Um, so that's, I believe, their opening weekend yes. is that weekend. So it's kind of a nice tie-in. Uh, they're a great group, and it's a really nice fit with what we do and what they do. So it's a good partnership. Uh, so it's going to be outdoors from, I believe, 10 until 2 that day. Uh, we have uh, a couple of different entertainers lined up, uh, uh, including Mecca Productions, okay. so, which for the kids is always great to come out and see that. Yeah. Um, we've got uh, the Bubble Man is coming to do some neat stuff with bubbles. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some different, uh, I don't know if I call them workshops, just kind of how-tos. Uh, there'll be some gardening stuff and some recycling oh, nice. information. Uh, information on the Green Cart program will be there for those who aren't signed up on it already. Uh, at CA, we're going to be doing vehicle eco-checks and we'll recycle Ooh. your used tires and batteries and motor oil so oh, wow. a lot of different things going on we really wanted to go though for a um a real casual come and go okay so it's not like you have to be there at a certain time for something <laughs> just come down anywhere you know between 10 and 2 that day check out the displays and come learn how to do a few different things uh and just have some fun it's very family friendly okay so bring the kids down and uh, we're just hoping the weather is all right the weather yeah. beautiful <laughs> yeah, and crossing our yeah. fingers we have no snow up to our knees yeah. right Shh. Sorry, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> we'll have some giveaways too, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Oh yes, we'll save that for the next show. Everybody likes giveaways. <laughs> All right, so uh, other than the, the May 30th event thing that's happening later on, is there anything else that's up and coming other than the Spirit Week, the Earth Spirit Week? We've got our uh, third annual Enviro Expo Ooh. on June the 2nd, correct? Correct. Okay. second at ACC. Uh, it's geared for students in kindergarten through grade six. Okay. And uh, they come for the entire day. And uh, in previous years, we've done two workshops. This year, we're doing three workshops, all with an environmental theme to them. Uh, so it's a great day for the kids to come out and learn some new things. And a lot of stuff is really hands-on. And again, just to get them into thinking about environment and getting into good habits early. So um, this year, last year we hosted 280 students and we're shooting for somewhere around that again this year. So it's okay. a fairly big event. Yeah, sounds like it. Yeah. Sounds pretty fun. All right, thank you. <laughs> now, as part of Westman Immigrant Services, we deal with a lot of the newcomers to Canada, specifically to Brandon, and there may be people who have not heard of Earth Day before, even though it is celebrated worldwide, as you mentioned before, Lindsay. Have you noticed anything with that? Like when you speak to someone who is maybe new to Canada and you talk about 
Earth Day or any other environmental activities, do, does it ever sound like it's something brand new to them? Or do you find a lot of people are already informed about how Earth conscious we are here in Canada? Uh, I can't say I've really had that discussion before. Oh, okay. <laughs> Trick question. Trick question. <laughs> um, just based on you know the last couple of years that we, we've done Earth Day, it's nice to see a diverse population mm -hmm. coming out and helping us to celebrate it. Um, but yeah, I'm like Lindsay, I've never really really got that in deep conversation to know if it's something that they've done in, in their home country previously or if it's brand new to them. I don't know, but it's nice to see uh, the diversity coming out to the Earth Day celebrations. Okay. Because it's for everyone. And, you know, yes. We all need to we all need to do some small part because if we all do a small part it all adds up in the end that's very and that's true. what matters all right good thank you all right i think that's all the questions i have for you guys today is there anything that you would like to add website is brandonenvironment.ca there we go all right follow us on twitter yep you gotta find us <laughs> Brandon Environment. we're on twitter <laughs> you're on the twitter yeah. you've got the website Absolutely. are you on the facebook we are on the facebook oh there, there you go. go have our own page Ooh, we got all your bases covered there we I go like it. All right. Well, thanks very much for coming on the show today. Thank I really you, enjoyed having you here. Thanks for having us. Thanks. And that's been our show for today. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in and learning all about the wonderful environmental activities going on here in Brandon. As always, today's show has been brought to you by Westman Immigrant Services and WCGTV. Thanks very much and have a good day.